So Michael Burry, the guy that Christian Bale played in the legendary movie Big Short, I don't know if you uh, saw it, but if you get a chance, I strongly suggest you to watch this uh, uh, masterpiece based on true story. So this guy, you know, doctor turns uh, big investor, hedge fund manager, uh, decides to make a move like this and um, ends up being spot on. Now he's saying that we are looking, hyperinflation is more probable than ever, basically. He doesn't tweet much. He's got a huge following base on Twitter and uh, he just uh, showed a lot of different charts. I post all of this on Twitter. If you have a chance, uh, uh, take a look um, at the new America 7-7. And uh, I, I found this, and, and I've been talking about this on my channel now for a while, that in mass inflation is, uh, is for sure, that's already happening. It, there are some sectors that are not uh, hit as hard yet, like for instance, oil. Uh, it, it's catching a bit for the last couple of months, but a lot of their stocks are nowhere close to their all-time highs and all of this. So there, there is a potential of, of, of oil, like crude oil, to go over $100 uh, possibly by the end of this year, as I've been talking about on my video blog. But everything else, like copper, uh, I mean, you look at these prices. Um, precious metals, uh, silver is doing really well. Uh, nowhere where it should be, where it will be. But that's going to be uh, decided very soon here with all this demand for physical that's been happening. So there is a very good chance that uh, these banks were, will, will not be able to, to continue with this uh, scam, what they've been doing with paper derivatives and all this stuff. And then you can combine uh, all this, what's happening with the precious metals markets, with SLV and everything, the uh, short squeeze. Uh, that a lot of you heard about because it's been trending now for the last um, few weeks since uh, GameStop, AMC, and all of that stuff happened with uh, the Reddit crew. So right now we are looking at uh, a, a very interesting times. And then you got a guy like Michael Burry talking about hyperinflation. And we all know that gold does really, really well in hyperinflationary times. Now you can say, well, Bitcoin is doing a lot better. Well. Bitcoin has no history compared to gold when it comes to how it's going to react during, uh, you know, mass inflation, hyperinflation, if you will, uh, what, whatever it ends up being, we do, we do not know. And when you see a price of something going up, that doesn't mean that's that's the top, uh, you know, store of wealth or the best hedge against inflation. Because what if happens, uh, what can happen here is Bitcoin can drop down to under $10,000 from 50, 58, 54, whatever it's trading right now. Uh, 52 week high for Bitcoin was 58, close to 59,000, and 52 week low was $4,100. So there is a $55,000 or so gap between uh, Bitcoin's 52-week high and 52-week low. So we have no idea two months from now, a year from now, where Bitcoin is going to trade. So one thing is for sure, gold does really well to protect your wealth. And you can really benefit from some stocks if... Um, you know, let's see, spot of gold goes from 1800 to 2300 I mean, the earnings for these companies, like for instance, like Kinross Gold, one of my favorites, it's just, uh, these are literally gold mines. Uh, we're looking at, uh, you know, a thousand percent moves in a lot of these that can happen uh, very quickly within uh, just a few months. So uh, take a look at that. Uh, I like Equinox Gold. I think mid-tier uh, gold stocks are, are extremely undervalued right now. And this is coming from Rick Rule, not me. I did my own research, but once he said it, I started to look into it and, and he's right. And he was right uh, several months ago when he said that the juniors went up too fast when, you know, it was gold mania and um, uh, Warren Buffett was buying Barrick Gold for the first time and uh, gold was really moving up fast. And he says, yeah, I'm good now. I'm going to start selling. And then soon after that interview I watched with Rick Rule, the prices started to come down. And now he's saying, this was a video from about three weeks ago, that the mid-tier, for instance, let's say Mac, uh, a market cap for Equinox is about $2 billion. He's talking in that range. Like uh, B2 Gold is a little higher, maybe $4 billion, I believe. Uh, Yamana Gold, uh, A, 
UY is the stock uh, ticker, so I will write all this down below. Uh, those would be my recommendations when it comes to um, gold stocks to hedge yourself against inflation. But if you don't have physical, there is really not much uh, that you're going to be able to do. Even if these gains are so so big, you won't be able to to buy much with that currency. That's just unfortunate the way it's going. And that's why I use it. I use the stock market, I use these profits in order to get physical in my possession. Platinum in the mix big time. I'm a big fan of platinum. I think there it's got a lot more room to go. Uh, right now, resistance for platinum was around $1,200. Uh, slice through that, now it's trading around $1,300. Uh, there is really no uh, resistance here once you see we don't know where the new resistance for platinum is going to be. It might be at $1,800 before you know it. So uh, if it drops under that $1,200, then there could be a potential uh, bigger drop coming soon. And that would be a great buying opportunity again. Remember, when you buy physical, if you see big drop in the spot price, you will not get your physical for that price. Because the bullion banks, as they are getting overrun with demand, are going to continue to raise these premiums. So every chance uh, you get, again, this is in my opinion, I'm not telling you what to do, I'm telling you what I'm doing and why. I would uh, get as much as I can. Even if it's one ounce of silver for 30 bucks, that's fine, one ounce of silver. A lot of these bullions now have um, you know, free shipping if you order over $500 or over $99 was for a, for a while, but things have uh, been changing quickly. Uh, vandalism has been reported uh, around some mines. Uh, people are stealing uh, copper cables. Um, Chicago has issues with uh, basically uh, catalytic converters. People are going under cars that are a little taller, like let's say SUVs. And I will, I will have all these links, guys, for you so you can take a look. This is insanity. But you got to look at it. These people that are doing this, they're actually, obviously they are criminals but at least they understand something. They, they understand there is some small amounts of palladium, platinum in these catalytic converters. So they are digging in, they're stealing copper, they're, they're, they're just doing stuff because they want to, they understand the value of uh, industrial metals. So you look at gold, you look at silver as obviously monetary, you know, metal being money, and silver being used in, in industrial so much more than gold, there is going to be shortages and this is happening right now. So I don't know again if Michael Burry is going to be correct again on this huge call, but I would not uh, bet against him. And I've been talking about hyperinflation uh, possibly happening in the United States, which means if the United States goes through it, there is going to be a lot of other countries because of the dollar, you know, the king. So uh, we'll see what happens, but yeah, those are my plays in, in gold stocks, silver stocks, but I'm really, really trying to get my hands on as much physical uh, bullion as, as I can. So that's the plan, that's how it's been. Uh, nothing new uh, here, if you follow my blog with the strategy, I've been buying dips in gold and silver and it got to the point uh, for my, I call it the bankroll that I had set for my, for my stock market plays. I said, <laughs> I, I don't, I can't buy any more dips. And if I see a huge dip that obviously could happen, I would be uh, pretty upset. But uh, this was, um, this was a long, uh, you know, 200 something days where these stocks were slowly coming down and I just kept adding little by little by little by little. And today, finally, we see uptick in, in these stocks like, uh, you know, stock ticker CDE, I talked about this one went up 15% just today. Uh, a lot of them went up over 10%. So so really good day for the miners. I expect a lot more um, and uh, we'll go from there. So Equinox, Yamana Gold, uh, B2G, B2 Gold, the Kinross, uh, those, are, those are my plays. Uh, Mag Silver, First Majestic when it comes to silver stocks. But those are kind of uh, getting away from me a little bit. Uh, the prices are too high. So I will have to, uh, you know, revisit my positions in some silver stocks. I got some uh, penny speculative ones that I will go over in my next video. And uh, that would be probably coming up uh, in the next couple of days. So take care. Uh, we'll talk. And if you get a chance, big short. 
I'm pretty sure you would enjoy this movie. Christian Bale nailed it. Take care.